Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how to make a multiple choice quiz. You'll start by choosing a slide, and I like to go with blank so that you can set it up the way that you would like. We will start by inserting a shape. And this will be the text box where we can type our question. Choose no fill. Then you right click and choose edit text. And your question goes here. All right. After that, you will start to insert your answers for this multiple choice question. So we will insert another shape. Keep it there. Again, you will right click it, edit text, so that you can type in your answer. So we'll go with A, wrong answer. Now, as you are doing this, you can select the box and change the colors that are inside. I like white to begin with. You can also change the text font size, the font selection, as well as the color. I'm fine with the generic though. <sighs> To get this to change when it is selected by someone taking your multiple choice quiz, you'll need to go to animations. I like to add the animation pane so that it's a little bit more detailed, but we're going to click add animation and fill color. This will fill in the color behind your answer so that you're still able to read that answer. The trouble is that right now, this changes when you click anywhere, not when you click on the box. So over on your animation page, pane, we're going to click on that down arrow and go to timing. Now we want it to change on a click, but we need it to be a specific so we want to start the effect on the click of then you'll need to click the down arrow to make sure that you are selecting the correct rectangle this should be for a wrong answer now it will only work if you click on the answer now it's changing colors but it is doing it kind of slowly so we can go back and alter that as well. So we go back to timing and we're going to make the duration a little bit faster. So we'll go to very fast so that it just changes color. And then you can also change the color in the effect options so we can make it a brighter red. Right. So now if we test it out. It goes straight to red. All right. I like the format of this, so what I'm going to do is right click on that box, copy it, and then I will paste it three times and move it around my board so that I've got four multiple choice answers. This is when you can use those red lines on your screen to be sure that everything is lined up correctly just so that it looks more professional. All right, there we go. And then you will have to click on it to change the type. So we'll make that B, C, and D is going to be the correct answer. Right over here you can see that it has changed the names of our rectangles and it has also kept the trigger. So if I were to test that out, wrong, wrong, wrong.
wrong, and unfortunately, our correct answer is also wrong. So you'll need to go back to B and make sure that you change the effect options to green for your correct answer. Right? So when I test it out this time, Right, that seems to be in order. Now, after you've gone through all of that work, it would be a shame to have to do it again. So what you can do is copy the entire slide and paste that there. So now you can change that. We can even put the correct answer up here. And you would just type in your new question along with your new answers, but shuffle those answers so that you're not just clicking D, D, D the whole time. Okay. Once you get the correct answer, you would click. There you go. And that is how you make your multiple choice quiz.